All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm super excited to um, have this event today. The teams have been working super hard. So just to introduce myself, my name is Demario Northington, and I am the student program coordinator here at Fast Forward U. Here at Fast Forward U, we serve as Hopkins Hub for Student Entrepreneurship and Innovation. We work with students all around campus, from undergrads to postdocs, to support their startup pursuits and turn good ideas into businesses. Here grounded in Baltimore with an eye toward the world, we empower creators and change makers, entrepreneurs and innovators, doers and go-getters. And as a program facilitated by our tech ventures division, we are grateful this evening for the support of our leadership and executive director, Christy Weisko and Brian Stansky who oversees all startup support. And above all else, at fast for you we invest in students and their educational journeys, empowering the leaders of tomorrow. The Spark Entry Level Accelerator runs each semester with the mission of helping teams succeed. So I am very excited um, for you to hear from the 20 exciting diverse ventures in just a few minutes. So once again, I'm Demario and I have the privilege of overseeing our Spark Accelerator and working with student groups around campus, around entrepreneurship and ideation. This is my second academic semester with fast for u and JHTV. And it's really been an exciting time to just work with tons of students who are working on very different ideas, um, as you'll see in a minute. And these teams have been working for the past 10 weeks on their ideas. And we are super excited to be showcasing this today. Just to give you a little bit more background information on fast for you here we have a 10,000 square foot co working space, which also includes a maker space we offer two separate 10 week accelerators have many funding opportunities um, this year alone, we are on track to give almost $400,000 of non diluted funding to student startup teams uh, so that's super exciting and that number is growing every year. Um, our Spark is our early stage accelerator where teams really explore and validate their ideas. So during Spark, we do a lot of customer discovery, market research, and really focusing on the value proposition to really help our entrepreneur, entrepreneurs understand the problem that they're tackling and also the solution that they're offering. Um, I want to give a special shout out to our fast for you interns who played a huge role in the success of Spark this semester. First, we have Sneha, who is actually the most senior team member at fast for you um, She's a senior studying biomolecular engineering and served as a strategic advisor to some of our teams. You'll see this afternoon. Next up, we have Javier, who also served as a strategic advisor and is currently studying chemical and biomolecular engineering. So as you can see, we have some very smart people on our team. We also have Bao Tran, who has served as a very hands-on UX design intern, really helping our teams with the web and app design, logos, and other design things. She is currently studying psychology here at JHU. And last but not least, we have Jack, who has been willing to help our teams with pitch decks, financial models, and a number of other tasks. And uh, he's also a recent, soon to be recent, uh, Cary Business School graduate. So I really want to give a huge thanks to our team for making the semester a success. Uh, your hard work definitely doesn't go unnoticed. So from there, we're gonna move on to our sponsors. Our Spark Demo Day features our most committed and promising idea stage startups. And many of these teams have taken advantage of our rolling task specific grant funding program through the Ignite Fund. We've had so much support from various alumni for this important funding source so thank you for thank you to david coke for his continued support for the ignite fund and our spark teams as well as michael derby who is a biotech serial entrepreneur and hopkins founders pledge member our alumni continue to step up and help us increase the amount of grant funding we can give to our student entrepreneurs uh, so thank you our our sponsors are always looking to give back to students who were who they were in their shoes before so it, it's super exciting to be growing this fund every every single year. Now into the fun part, we have prizes, of course. This year, we've been able to scale our demo day or our Spark Showcase pool prize from 5K to 10K. And we're super excited to be able to do this because the teams you'll see have been working hard on their venture. And each breakout room will have 
three different winners. I'll tell you a little bit more about the breakout rooms in a few slides. So the first place prize is a $3,000 prize. Second place is 1.5K and third place is 500. Additionally, the teams are already receiving a $500 stipend for successfully completing Spark. So this is just an additional bonus for the program. Now, quick shout out to our judges. Uh, first up, we have Josh, who is the director here at fast for u We have Ayo, who is the CEO at Boats Labs. We have Monica, who is the CEO at Macro Melt Tech. We have Tom, the co-founder and CTO at Order. And last but not least, you have Jay, the founder of SX Strategic Consulting. So before we get into the exciting part and watching our teams pitch and answer Q&A, um, I want to give you a little breakdown of how this event will be ran. We had a total of 20 teams participating today. Our health slash med tech device teams will be in breakout room A while our tech and other industry teams will be in breakout room B. You, the audience, will have full autonomy to choose which breakout room you go into. Um, so once we get into these breakout rooms, each team will give a 60 second elevator pitch about their venture. And this will be followed immediately by two to three minutes of Q&A from the judges. Um, we have some interns doing timekeeping in each breakout room just to ensure we're on time. So. After your three minutes of Q&A are up, we'll introduce the next team just to stay on schedule and we'll keep going until every team has gone. After the last team, everyone except the judges will come back here into this main room and hear from some of our members of the fast for You team. Judges will stay behind at the breakout rooms to choose the winners. We'll have six teams winning additional funding today. So for now, I, I'm super excited to open up the breakout rooms and just remember health and med tech device teams will be in breakout room A, tech and other, other industry teams will be in breakout room B. So I'm glad that everyone got to know a little bit more about some of the JHU entrepreneurs and what you, they are currently working on. Um, and we are going to announce the winners. So we are going to start off by announcing the tech and other industry teams. And those winners will be announced by uh, our judge, Tom. So if you can come off mute, I will just move to the next slide. And then you can introduce the starting with the third place winner. Sure. All righty. Well, uh, first of all, thank you to all the companies. Um, it was really, really fun listening to all the pitches um, and, and, and going through all the Q&A. I had a, had a really great time doing it. And there's a lot of really cool ideas here. So excited to see where all of you go. Um, so first, uh, in third place, uh, we have the Impact Stylist. Woo! <laughs> Should I say anything about the company's government? Oh, right, we'll keep going. In second place, we have U Credit. And in first, big, big, big congratulations to EduCoin. Now, Tom, if you want to say something about the teams, you can. I sorry to cut you off. Oh, no, you're good. I, I was just going to say, like, all very, very interesting companies. Um, we like different things about all three of them. Um, like Impact Stylist has very has a scalable business model. Um, it, it's, we like that they had some, some traction already for been around for a couple of years. Um, you credit. Uh, we were like also uh, very impressed by we like the potentially like viral nature of it, the fact that you could potentially sell to students directly as well, um, and very useful tools. Um, Educoin in particular, we think it's a really great use of NFTs. Um, we think that the market is there. We think it's awesome that they have um, you know 10, 10 pilots coming live and a lot of students lined up for this year. So good combination of idea, application, traction so far. So that was that was a clear winner to us. Thank you so much and congratulations to those teams that have won. We are now going to move on to the healthcare teams, which will be announced by Josh and Monica. Thanks to Mario. And I'm going to go ahead and announce the third place winner. Just again, want to thank all of our judges for being here. As I told our team, make sure that you reach out to everybody here. If you are a student, there's just lots of networking opportunities here. And I want to give a special shout out to the healthcare teams that Monica and I got the chance to talk about. Uh, the healthcare industry can be complicated. 
It can be long pathway to getting the market. Um, there's just a lot going on there. And all of these teams have some really interesting ideas and uh, it was not an easy decision by any means. Uh, our third place winner though, uh, is a team that I was very interested in on a personal level. Um, and uh, not that that swayed my vote, don't worry. It was judged on uh, very objective criteria. Uh, but this team is working on a really interesting app to help uh, adults age and to rally uh, family support around them and to help them move uh, and age in place and to have healthy family structures. And so we're really excited to announce the third place winner of TEND. And TEND, you are our third place winner. Uh, again, congratulations. And with that, I'm gonna turn things over to Monica to introduce the next two awards. Great, uh, yeah, so this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed getting to you know, hear all these different pitches and these different ideas. Um, you guys all did an amazing job. Uh, and so I'm gonna announce the second place. So um, with this company, we were super uh, impressed by the simplicity of the idea and um, something that, you know, something very few people think about um, and how great they were able to come up with a solution. So this is for medical tube and cord organization. And our second place winner is Nurse Tech. So congratulations, great job. All right, and then for our first place, um, it, with this company, we were really impressed with the traction and the thought to scaling and how they're, you know, how, how they have been, been able to make so much progress already. Um, and they did a really great job of addressing our questions today. So for our first place, the, this company uh, has created an integrated wellness app to address the needs, especially in um, other countries like uh, India and Uganda. And so for this first place company, we have Pinga. Congratulations. And again, thank you all. Um, and uh, you know, I'm happy to, to, to answer any questions. If anyone wants to reach out, I'll drop my, um, my email in the link. Um, I also wanna say, I heard just really briefly as I came in, you guys talking about Nucleate. Um, I'll put in my two cents here. I've worked with some companies through Nucleate and it's a really great program. So I highly encourage anybody who can work with them. Um, it's, it's, it's a really amazing program. Thank you, Monica. Um, I, I really do want to give a special shout out to all of the teams that we've worked with throughout these 10 weeks in Spark. Uh, the teams have worked really hard on their ventures. And we, once again, fast for you, it's always here after Spark uh, for to be a resource for you. So if you ever need um, industry connections, mentor connections, just feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we can definitely uh, assist you in anything that you need. Another special shout out to our judges for taking out the time to uh, get back to our teams and, and really learn more about what they're working on and making this event possible.